All right, here, welcome to the first demo here of Temple OS. All right, I'm going to teach you how to do some basic scripts and stuff. So, if you want to follow along real easily, I recommend you uh, pull, if you have a double monitor or your cell phone, you pull up this image. I'll have it linked in the description. It will show you all the cool shortcuts in Temple OS. So, like, for example, did you know if you press Alt 1? You can type a pi character, like you don't have to type 3.14 or an alt, like a really complicated alt key, it's just alt 1. So um, there's a bunch of cool shortcuts that you can use if you follow along in this image. And I also have some of the com uh, quick commands that we're going to go over really quick. So if you want to make a new folder, um, like say if you're starting a new project and you're not like me, you just want to make a mess and put your files in your home folder, you can actually make a di directory. Um, how I make a directory is I press Control D and then I'll find uh, where I want to make the directory. So like in home, I right click it and I'll make a directory and I'll call it um, YouTube. Okay, so uh, now we have the YouTube directory and um, if we want to enter the YouTube directory all we have to do is type CD and then we type in YouTube just like that you see with uh, parentheses and um, double quotes uh, with semicolon at the end this is a real-time compiler so everything you type in just compiles right here in uh, in the kernel here so uh, now that we're in our folder we're gonna want to start a new project so to start a new project all we have to do is type the command ed and this is stands for edit so if we just edit something that doesn't exist it's going to create a new file for us okay but before we do that you can see here uh, your window might or might not look like mine i have two um it, this is usually how it looks like when you boot up you have one window on this left side here and one window on this right side here we're going to create a new project in this window but when we're working on a project, it can be helpful to have two windows open uh, as we look at reference code in, in Temple OS. So if we want to have two uh, files open at the same time, like say we're drawing in one tab and we want to uh, work on a project in another uh, tab, like do some coding, we can have we can have multiple windows. So to resize these windows, you can just drag with your mouse here. Um, you can press Control M to maximize it, um, and then uh, I'm sorry, uh, Control uh, uh, Alt M. Sorry, that's the command. Um, if you press Alt M, you can maximize it. If you don't want to maximize it anymore, you can close it out with Control Alt X. That'll close out your window. You press Control Alt T. That'll make a new window. So those are uh, some quick uh, ways. And if you want to switch between uh, windows you press control alt n and you can see it switches my focus uh, those little borders are changing you can see which one um, I'm active in so I can very quickly you know this this allows me to work very quickly in temple OS and um, it's just handy to know how to navigate these windows uh, a lot of people will just maximize it and, and then get stuck or something so it's good to know how to do that. If you want to access this menu at the top of Temple OS, hold down your Windows key um, or your, I guess, Apple key for simulating on a Mac, I don't know. Uh, but um, it's the Windows key and you can uh, use the arrow keys to uh, navigate this top window here. So there's a bunch, like you can do God words from uh, the window here. Um, so th that's how you access the top uh, menu. Uh, to get to your personal en menu, it's Control uh, Shift M. Sorry, that's for your personal notes, and then uh, Control M brings you to your personal window. So that's just how to navigate Temple OS. Um, but now let's get started with the project. I think uh, um, take your time to get familiar with the controls a little bit. Um, but uh, pause the video, do what you need to do. But we're gonna get right into the next part of this video which is actually our project. So um, if you want to have a copy of what I'm working with, this is what we're going to make. I demoed it in the last video. Uh, to run applications, you type in hashtag include and then put in quotes the name of the application. So just like that with a semicolon. 
this is the game so you go over this side and you pray and you go over here and you drink and you go over here and you pray and you just do that for as long as possible so it's a simple game but it's got keyboard input um, it's got changing sprites on the screen and it's got game over so it's a really basic game but it's gonna help us understand how to code applications in Temple OS so as I mentioned let's finally run that ed command ed and name uh oh, well make sure you're in your uh, folder uh, just so you uh, you don't have to make a folder but uh, run that ed command now and we're gonna call it um, game.hc hc is just the text file extension in temple os so instead of dot txt it's dot hc so run that command and now we're in a blank script here we could start uh, typing things we're gonna make our first graphic so to draw something in temple os um, it's how it works is if you think about a regular text file it's make, composed of ascii characters uh, ascii characters can be like a b c one two three at sign so we can code all these different symbols into the file format red c which is um, the underlying file format for holy c doesn't use ascii it uses red c you can draw any kind of sprite you want it's built right in so it, these things are basically very similar to how you would type a b or c on your regular keyboard but in temple os we can draw anything so let's draw our first sprite and to do that we press Control r and we're going to make a sprite so this menu clicks up uh, opens up here you could just use your mouse and click make sprite so this is our sprite men main menu and as you saw uh, the demo game had a little person running around so uh, you can draw a full person with, if you want with these tools I'm just gonna draw something really quick to give us an introduction into how to use these tools so circle if you want to do a circle I could very quickly draw a circle just you click and that's the circle tool and if you want to get back to your menu you just right click and so I can select a, like I, I think that's too thick right um, so actually I don't like that I'm gonna I'm gonna click this uh, circle I just did on the right I'm gonna click delete on my keyboard and that's going to remove it and now I can do something else so actually I'm gonna make it a, a higher thickness I'm gonna give it 10 thickness and I'm gonna do a rectangle instead so there's our rectangle all right that's what I'm going to use for this uh, very basic game this is just our first sprite so it's a thick uh, rectangle and we're whenever you want to finish any sprite um, you go to convert to bitmap or edit bitmap the reason for that is while we're building this sprite it's composed you can see here we deleted one at the beginning every time we make an action it's, it's adding to this list we're just basically gonna compress this list into a bitmap so we're gonna tell it the background is transparent we're gonna use the regular extents and now we're going to go to the sprite main menu again and there's one more thing that we want to do we're going to go to the sprite edit menu and we're going to set the origin this is going to tell us uh, tell Temple OS when um, uh, where, where the sprite actually begins so now we now that we're done we can click exit sprite if you click abort sprite the difference between that is this is a safe exit and this is a don't save exit so uh, if you want to save your progress click uh, exit sprite and there we go there's our first sprite in temple os and that's going to be the end of this video in the next video i'm going to talk about how to make uh, use keyboard controls how to copy files and do some more advanced options